Hello, in this video we're going to look at another solution to Big Diff. And in this video we're going to look at a little bit of a better way to do this. In our last video we used a built-in function called um, sort in the erase class that would sort nums and then the problem becomes a little trivial in that we simply subtract the first element from the last element. Um, and we really don't want to do that because we want to be very cautious when we, if we're modifying parameters that are arrays. So in this, this approach, we are going to look at each element and find the max and min from the array. And then we are going to find the difference. So this problem highlights a really important technique you want to be able to develop, and that is finding the max and minimum from a list of numbers. So the first step here is we're going to create an integer called max, and we're going to set it to nums at zero. And we're going to make an entry called min, and we're going to set that to nums at zero. Now, this is really important. Always initialize max and min to an element in the array. This is because it removes the guesswork in trying to know what the largest or smallest element is and could possibly be in, in the array. Um, good algorithm approach. Now, I'm just going to act out finding the maximum in this list here. And what I'm essentially going to do is look at each element in sequence and then decide if it's the biggest one I see. So max is initialized to 10. So I'm going to start there and say, are you bigger than 10? No. Are you bigger than 10? No. Are you bigger than 10? No. And therefore, when I've done this, I know that the maximum is 10. Now, the fact that I had to highlight each of these in sequence, again, indicates that a loop is going to be useful. So I'm going to set up a standard loop. So we're going to start i is 0, i is less than dumps.length, and i is equal to i plus 1. And there's kind of two ways I can find the max and minimum. One way is to simply say if max is less than dumps at i, then max is now equal to nums at i, and we would do the same thing for min. So if min is greater than nums at i, min is now equal to nums at i, and then once I've done the loop, I'm going to return the max minus the min. And I've done this pretty quickly, so let's just see if this is going to work, and it does. Now I mentioned that there's two ways kind of to define the maximum minimum, and this is kind of the evolution of programming. When I was first learning to program way back in the day, this is how you'd have to find the maximum um, of two numbers. Well, now we tend to use a lot of built-in functions. And a really useful static function method um, in the math class is called max. So if I say max equals, I can call the max function for the math class. Again, I know that max is a static function because it's being invoked with the name of the class. And I'm going to pass it max and nums at i. So all it does is just compares these two elements, or these two values, and then spits out the maximum and puts it in. min is equal to math.min, min and nums at i. Now, a couple of you might have noticed that a nice way to kind of be a little more efficient in this problem is since I've set the max and min to the first element in the array, I don't need to start the loop at index 0. I can start it at index 1, and it still works. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.